Good morning, guys. Got a little short video of uh, the day Hate the State lost his channel. He started whining on uh, YouTube. Uh, and, of course, my legal team here is going to pipe in. You know, they'd do a lot better if they'd stop talking over each other all the time. But, you know, that's just how they are. That's the kind of people they are. Anyway, let's check out Hate the State the day he lost his channel. And the Hate the, Ch uh, Hate the State channel was uh, Ian McGuire, currently doing five or six years in federal prison. Hey guys, it's Chicken Man. I had a little bit of a problem. Lost my channel. And guess what? I'm back. I'm coming to do audits. And they haven't kept me down. Please share this with anyone that you know that watches my channel. Share it everywhere. Share it on Twitch. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Reddit, share it on Facebook, share it on YouTube. Oh, man. Lost 26,000 subscribers. It's actually one of them calling me right now. But I'm here, I'm back. They ain't got Chicken Man down. Alright, guys, like and subscribe. I'm going to add another clip of a news story I found with information I wasn't aware of. Apparently, Ian had a partner in his shenanigans. And this news clip is about both of them going to prison. So he didn't uh, last too long after he got his uh, channel taken down. Let's check this out. A Southwest Florida woman finding feces and a dead kitten sent to her in the mail. And the man who sent it's in prison. I'm Patrick Nolan. And I'm Jane Monreal. Fox 4's Leslie dellis Bohr tells us how it all began and how you can protect yourself from situations like this. 29-year-old Breton Howard Osborne has been sentenced to three years and eight months in federal prison for stalking and conspiracy to commit stalking of a woman in Port Charlotte, along with his co-conspirator, 30-year-old Ian Douglas McGuire. The harassment began in March of 2019 and lasted through June of that same year after McGuire walked into the Punta Gorda Farmer's Market, which is where victim AGW worked at the time. Uh, the, the suspect in this case, he likes to to um, go into public wearing signs around his neck with his own video camera. He likes to engage groups of people uh, to get a reaction. Uh, the victim in this case, just uh, she was working at the time, told uh, the suspect that she did not uh, really like his sign, didn't want to be videotaped by him, and that was the initial uh, interaction between the two. And uh, ever since then, he just began to target her. And um, the phone call harassment, it was on a daily basis with uh, the victim. She, in fact, had to um, get a different phone number to use because her phone number was nonstop. She was getting uh, what's called a spoof call. But the harassment continued. After the victim filed a restraining order against the suspects, the suspects were then able to obtain the victim's personal information through public record, which led the suspects to send the victim a very disturbing package in the mail. Uh, she received um, multiple adult-themed uh, toys in the mail. She received uh, packages of fecal matter in the mail, and uh, she actually received a, a dead kitten uh, in the mail. Nine years into his career, Detective Adam Taylor with the Northport Police Department says the details of this case came as a shock to him and advises anyone, if you find yourself in a situation like this, contact authorities immediately. Someone that is a victim of harassment should make a police report to get it on file so it's documented, so we have a, a paper trail to start to show that um, someone is getting harassed and they are asking for police help in this matter, but just be cautious on, on where you put your, your address and your phone number because certain documents can't become public record. In Punta Gorda, Leslie Delaspor, Fox 4 News. On top of that disturbing package the victim received, the suspect also harassed her by posting videos of her on a YouTube page that has since been taken down. Now, I didn't know anything about this Osborne character partnering up with uh, Hate the State, but I guess that that's, uh, that's a thing. Anyway, what do you think there... Uh, my legal team here, you chime in on this, would you? Uh, oh, well, thanks for your opinion, guys. Nobody could understand a word because you're talking over each other like you do to the police and the public. Uh, anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed a little short clip. Y'all have a great day now. Bye.